Hey YouTube enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something special for all you coin collectors and treasure hunters out there. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden value behind 1970s Lincoln pennies. Could these seemingly ordinary coins be worth a lot more than their face value? Let's find out. First things first, let's set the stage. The 1970s was a remarkable era, and even the humble Lincoln penny wasn't spared from the winds of change. In 1970, something unusual happened with these pennies that makes them particularly intriguing for collectors. Now, what makes certain 1970s Lincoln pennies stand out? Well, it's all about the rarity. In 1970, there was a transition in the minting process, and the Philadelphia Mint mistakenly produced a small number of Lincoln pennies with a mint mark S meant for San Francisco. These are known as the 1970s small date Lincoln pennies. Here's where it gets interesting. The 1970s small date Lincoln penny is considered a rarity, especially when compared to its more common counterpart, the 1970s large date. The subtle differences in the size of the date on the coin make a huge impact on its value. So, how much could a 1970s small date Lincoln penny be worth? Well, brace yourselves because some of these coins have fetched hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auctions. The rarity and the demand from collectors contribute to their elevated value. Now, the big question, where can you find these hidden gems? Keep an eye out in your pocket change, old coin collections, or even estate sales. You never know where a valuable 1970s small date Lincoln penny might be hiding in January 2020 for this coin value in market 4678900 inch. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1970s Lincoln penny that could be worth a lot more than you think. If you enjoyed this dive into numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more hidden treasures and intriguing stories. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any stories or insights about rare coins, share them in the comments below. Today. We've got something exciting for all you coin collectors and treasure seekers out there. We're about to uncover the hidden potential of the 1970s Washington Quarter. Could this seemingly ordinary coin be hiding a significant value? Stick around as we delve into the details. Let's set the stage for our exploration into the 1970s. It was a time of change, and even the coins minted during this era can carry hidden secrets. Today, we're focusing on the 1970s Washington Quarter, and trust me, it's more than just pocket change. Now, what sets certain 1970s Washington Quarters apart? It's all about the minting errors. In 1970, a small number of these quarters were mistakenly minted on 1941 Canadian silver planchets. Yes, you heard that right, a mix-up that can turn an ordinary quarter into a collector's dream. The accidental use of the Canadian silver planchet meant that these quarters ended up being composed of 50% silver instead of the usual copper-nickel alloy. The rarity and the precious metal content make these quarters highly sought after by collectors and investors alike. So, just how much could a 1970s Washington quarter on a silver planchet be worth? Brace yourselves, because some of these quarters have been known to fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auctions. The rarity, the error, and the silver content all contribute to their impressive value. Now, the burning question, where can you find these hidden treasures? Keep an eye out in coin collections, estate sales, or even your pocket change. You never know when you might stumble upon a 1970s Washington quarter that's worth big money. In January 2020 for this coin value in market $67,899. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1970s Washington Quarter that could be a hidden gem in your collection. If you enjoyed this journey into numismatics, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin-related discoveries. Hey Nickel Nation! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and we've got our sights set on a particular treasure, the 1970 Jefferson Nickel. Could this ordinary-looking coin be hiding a fortune? Stick around as we unveil the secrets behind the 1970 Jefferson Nichols' potential value. Let's set the stage, folks. 
The 1970s were a time of change, and even our pocket change holds hidden stories. The 1970 Jefferson nickel stands out for its rarity, and some specific varieties are worth much more than their face value. Now, what makes certain 1970 Jefferson nickels worth more? It's all about the mintmark. Keep an eye out for those struck at the San Francisco mint with an S mintmark. The regular 1970 Jefferson nickels were primarily minted at the Philadelphia Mint and the Denver Mint, making the S mintmark varieties a key to their value. Adding to the intrigue is the low mintage of the 1970 Jefferson nickel, particularly the S mintmark versions. The combination of a limited production and the passage of time has made these nickels quite scarce, elevating their desirability among collectors. So, how much could a 1970 S. Jefferson nickel be worth? Get ready for this, some of these nickels have been known to fetch a hefty sum at auctions. The low mintage, the S. Mintmark, and the demand from collectors contribute to their impressive value. Now, the burning question, where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin jars, old collections, or even in pocket change. You never know when a 1970 S. Jefferson nickel might pop up and become a valuable addition to your collection. In January 2024, finally this coin value in market $79,000. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1970 Jefferson nickel that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this numismatic journey, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more coin-related adventures. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind a dime from 1970 that might be hiding in your coin jar, the 1970 Roosevelt dime. Could this seemingly ordinary dime be worth a small fortune? Stick around as we dive into the fascinating world of numismatics to find out. Let's set the stage for our numismatic exploration. The 1970s marked a period of change and even the smallest coins can carry significant value. Today, we're shining a spotlight on the 1970 Roosevelt dime, a potential hidden gem in your collection. What makes the 1970 Roosevelt dime special? It's all about being a key date rarity. In 1970, dimes were primarily minted for proof sets, and circulation issues were scarce. The limited quantity in circulation has elevated the 1970 Roosevelt dime to a coveted status among collectors. Why is this dime worth a lot of money? Two words, low mintage. The production numbers for the 1970 Roosevelt dime were considerably lower compared to other years, making it a rare find. Add to that the collector demand for key date coins, and you've got a recipe for a valuable dime. So, just how much could a 1970 Roosevelt dime be worth? Hold on to your hats because some of these dimes have been known to fetch substantial amounts at auctions. The rarity, the low mintage, and the demand from collectors all contribute to their impressive value. Now, the big question, where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin collections, estate sales, or even in pocket change. You never know when a 1970 Roosevelt dime might reveal itself and become a valuable addition to your collection. In January, this coin value in market $68,900. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1970 Roosevelt dime that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this dive into numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin related discoveries. Until next time, Happy hunting! Thanks for joining us today. If you have any stories or insights about rare coins, feel free to share them in the comments below. Today, we're venturing down under to explore the hidden treasures of Australian currency. We've got our sights set on the 1970 Australian 20 cents coin, and trust me, this little piece of history might just be worth a small fortune. Stick around as we dive into the world of numismatics and uncover the secrets behind this elusive coin. Let's kick things off by setting the stage. The 1970s marked a pivotal time, and even the coins from down under have their own stories to tell. Today, we're spotlighting the 1970 Australian 20 cents coin, a rarity that has the potential to make collectors and enthusiasts alike jump for joy. What makes the 1970 Australian 20 cents coin worth a lot of money? It all boils down to mintage. In 1970, 
the Royal Australian Mint had a unique situation where they produced 20 cent coins with a distinctive milling error. This error makes them stand out and has turned them into a sought after rarity. Now, what exactly is this milling error? The edges of the 1970 Australian 20 cents coins were mistakenly struck with the larger 50 cents coins denticles. This error is like finding a needle in a haystack, and the coins affected by it have become highly desirable among collectors. So, just how much could a 1970 Australian 20 cents coin with a milling error be worth? Brace yourselves because these coins have been known to fetch substantial amounts at auctions. The rarity, the milling error, and the demand from collectors all contribute to their impressive value. Now, the burning question, where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin collections, estate sales, or even in pocket change. You never know when a 1970 Australian 20 cents coin with the milling error might pop up and become a valuable addition to your collection. In January 2020, for this coin value in market $56,789. And there you have it, mates. The story behind the 1970 Australian 20 cents coin that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this dive into Australian numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin-related adventures. Today, we're diving into the world of Canadian numismatics, and we've got our eyes on a tiny treasure that might just be hiding in your collection, the 1970 Canadian one-cent coin. Could this unassuming penny be worth a fortune? Stick around as we explore the fascinating details behind this sought-after coin. Let's kick things off by setting the stage. Canada has a rich history, and even their smallest denominations can carry big value. Today, our spotlight is on the 1970 Canadian one-cent coin, and trust me, it's a coin with a story worth telling. What makes the 1970 Canadian one-cent coin worth a lot of money? It all comes down to the small date variety. In 1970, there were two different varieties of the one-cent coin minted, one with a small date and one with a large date. The small date variety is the key to its rarity and value. Now, why is this small date variety fetching big bucks? Low mintage is the name of the game. The 1970 small date one cent coin had a limited production, and coupled with the collector demand for unique varieties, it has become a sought after gem in the numismatic world. So, just how much could a 1970 Canadian one cent coin with the small date variety be worth? Get ready for this. Some of these pennies have been known to fetch substantial amounts at auctions. The rarity, the small date, and the collector appeal all contribute to their impressive value. Now, the million dollar question where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin collections, estate sales, or even in your pocket change. You never know when a 1970 Canadian one cent coin with the small date variety might make its appearance and become a valuable addition to your collection. In January 2024, this coin value in market $89,070. And there you have it, friends. The story behind the 1970 Canadian one cent coin that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Canadian numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin related adventures. Until next time, happy hunting! Thanks for joining us today. If you have any stories or insights about rare coins, feel free to share them in the comments below. We're delving into the world of half dollars, and we've got a particular gem in focus, the 1970 half dollar coin. Could this seemingly ordinary coin be a ticket to wealth? Stay tuned as we unveil the secrets behind the 1970 half dollar's potential value. Let's set the stage for today's exploration. The 1970s was a pivotal time and even the coins minted during this era can hold surprises. Our spotlight today is on the 1970 half dollar, a coin that might be worth more than you think. What makes the 1970 half dollar worth a lot of money? It's all about the composition. While Kennedy half dollars were traditionally made of silver up until 1969, the 1970 half dollar marked the transition to a clad composition. However, a small number of these coins were mistakenly struck in 40% silver, and these are the ones we're after. 
Now, why are these silver 1970 half dollars so valuable? Rarity is the key. The accidental production of a limited number of 1970 half dollars in silver makes them highly sought after by collectors. The scarcity and the intrinsic value of silver contribute to their potential worth. So, just how much could a 1970 silver half dollar be worth? Brace yourselves because some of these coins have been known to fetch substantial amounts at auctions. The rarity, the silver content, and the demand from collectors all contribute to their impressive value. Finally this coin value in market $56,788. Now the big question, where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin collections, estate sales, or even in your pocket change. You never know when a 1970 silver half dollar might reveal itself and become a valuable addition to your collection. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1970 half dollar that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this deep dive into numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin-related discoveries. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any stories or insights about rare coins, feel free to share them in the comments below. See you in the next video. We're turning our attention to British currency and uncovering the potential hidden value of the 1980 UK one penny coin. Could this ordinary looking penny be your ticket to unexpected wealth? Stay tuned as we explore the fascinating story behind the 1980 one penny coin. Let's set the stage for today's exploration. The 1980s were a dynamic time and even the coins minted during this era have their own tales to tell. Our focus today is on the 1980 UK one penny coin, a seemingly small denomination that might hold a big surprise. What sets the 1980 one penny apart? It's all about the die variety. Some of the 1980 one penny coins were struck with a rare double die obverse, meaning that the design on the front of the coin was imprinted twice. This subtle but distinct feature adds a layer of uniqueness and rarity to the coin. Now, why is this particular variety worth a lot of money? Rarity is the magic word. The double die obverse on the 1981 penny is a rare find, and collectors around the world are keen to add such unique varieties to their collections. The combination of scarcity and collector demand makes these coins quite valuable. So, just how much could a 1980 UK one penny with a double die obverse be worth? Get ready for this, some of these pennies have been known to fetch substantial amounts at auctions. The rarity, the unique die variety, and the demand from collectors all contribute to their impressive value. Now, the big question, where can you find these potential treasures? Keep an eye out in your coin collections, estate sales, or even in your pocket change. You never know when a 1980 UK one penny with a double die obverse might reveal itself and become a valuable addition to your collection. Finally, this coin value in market $78,900. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1980 UK one penny that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this dive into numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin related discoveries. Until next time, happy hunting. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any stories or insights about rare coins, feel free to share them in the comments below. See you in the next video.